crafty friends, it's Jessica from Little Perfect Task, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick little May basket. And I'm going to start off just kind of sharing the supplies I'm using, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So as for the paper, I'm going to be using the Close to My Heart cardstock, Sweet Leaf for the green, and then the yellow cardstock is Buttercup. And then um, for the patterned cardstock here is from the Laughing Lola paper pack. And then um, for ink, all I'm going to be using is the Lagoon exclusive ink stamp pad. And then um, I'm going to sh show you ish. Um, I'm not going to be using the Cricut cartridge, but this is a stamp set that works with the Cricut cartridge. I'm actually going to be cutting stuff out with my silhouette um, to fit the little stamps into. And this one is from the Artiste collection and it's called Word Balloons. I'm just going to use the high, um, the little high stamp out of that. And then, um, of course, you'll need a stamp, a clear stamp block so you can mount the stamp we're using. It mounts right on there so we'll be able to see through that. And then when we're done, I have, I love this little guy. This is the ink cleaner. So you just, when you're done, you take your stamp after you're all done, and then you have the little spritzer, you squirt, squirt, and then you just, then it, you just rub, 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 and it cleans your ink right off your stamp. And I like it because it has a nice little lid and it's more compact. The one, the sink cleaner I used to have was big and bulky. So I really like having that stamp pad. So we're going to go ahead and get started and I've already pre-cut little balloon boxes um, that's going to fit. I'm going to actually layer it up and then the high is going to go right in there. And then I went ahead and cut my May basket. I'm just going to go ahead and peel that off my cameo mat. And then if you want to see, here's the other side of that paper. It's really pretty. So, get my basket all peeled up. I made the handle and we'll get the mat out of the way. So we've got our basket here. And I'm going to just fold up the side. If you had a bowl in the folder, you could use that. And um, these sides of the basket have already been scored. I went ahead and scored them in the uh, silhouette. together. I actually made this pretty big, pretty big May basket. And it's kind of up to your just, you know, you need to decide where you want it to be as far as, you know, how you want your basket to look. I'm going to go ahead and get this assembled. I'm using my Permatac. Permatech Glue Glider Pro. I like this little guy. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my ink now. Pop that open. Flips around. And I'm going to get the stamp used up. 
you can get it stamped on. Stamp it on the yellow one. And the nice thing about the clear stamps is you can see through them. So you can see where you're placing. There we go. Got that done. Like I said before, just a little squirt. And then you just give it a little rubber brim. That cleans it right off. Just a really nice hold up. This with a little bit of glue. Get this centered up on here. And I'm kind of one for inking my edges. So I'm just going to give this a little a little bit of a color here. This edge, you can just kind of pop it right. You can see that. Get in that crevice there. Stick it on the corner. Got that done. And I'm going to go right here. And I'm making these for May baskets, so we're going to. These and some of these to the worst step. There's that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill this with some popcorn and some candy. There you have it. It's pretty simple, pretty easy little task. Um, maybe add some jewels across the top to decorate this up or whatever. But that was just like a quick little tutorial on um, how to, you know, make a little May basket. And um, the thing that I just really kind of wanted to showcase is I did not use the I did not use the Cricut to um, cut these out. I used my Cameo. I basically created. A silhouette file that will fit the stamps so you don't have to use your cricket you can use your silhouette here is the list of supplies um, that you will need for close to my heart to complete this project thanks for watching and we'll see you next time